Hello, trillionaires. Welcome back to my Daily Motion channel. Today we're going to be talking about beauty standards and changing yourself, changing your life. Now, it's more like a little bit of an intelligent rant, rather, as opposed to me having like a script. I'm just gonna, I'm literally gonna freestyle. Ten motherfucking bars! Ten motherfucking seconds! What you talk about? What you talking about? Then I'm gonna shout, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna spin, then I'm gonna roll, then I'm gonna bow, then I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna This is serious! Where should we begin? Let's talk about changing yourself. I feel like nowadays, because of social media, plastic surgery, etc., we have this like ingrained notion in our heads that if we change ourselves, if we get thinner, if we get filler, if we get surgery, if we change our hair color, we are automatically going to look better just because we changed ourselves. But that's not always the case. In fact, sometimes you don't need to change yourself and you actually look way better currently. Now, I have fallen victim to this. I have gotten lip filler in the past and I think it made me look worse. I got it dissolved. I dyed my hair and I thought if I dyed my hair because I'm changing myself, I'm automatically going to look better. Not true. I personally think I look better with my natural hair color black. I dyed my hair a couple of times now and each time I go back to black, I love it way more. And then you get to the stage, hmm, maybe I should change myself again because perhaps I do look better in another color. And then you do it again. And now I'm back to the same situation. And the reason why I keep asking asking you guys, should I go back to black or should I keep my current hair? Is because I subconsciously am thinking one color is better than the other. One color makes me look better because and then when I go back to that color, I'm like, no, I look better in the other. And it's back and forth because you think change. Change is the answer. Change will always make me look better. When I got lip filler a while ago, I thought I'll look prettier with bigger lips. I don't think I did. I think I looked a lot prettier when I had just normal lips. I look like a dark, seriously. I mean, I didn't look bad, but I didn't. I wasn't peaking, if you know what I mean. I actually had this realization last year when I got my lips dissolved that you don't have to change yourself. Just because you're changing yourself, it doesn't mean you're going to look better. And if you go watch my beauty rant on that last year, I briefly touch on it. But I think it alludes to a larger problem. Thank you, TikTok. That girl lifestyle. How to change your life. Yeah, look, I know I contribute to it by talking about it on my channel, how to change your life, blah, 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 blah. But you don't have to change your life and you don't have to change your appearance. I reckon you should change your life if, you know, you're in a shitty position. But what happens when you keep changing is you level up, you level up, you level up. You have to keep leveling up because you reach a baseline, you get bored. Okay, let's go up again. And each time it feels exactly the same. And the problem is you're never actually satiated. That's my problem. You need to find fulfillment and contentment with not only the present moment, your journey, but also yourself. You know, aside from changing your life, let's go back to the appearance topic. There, there used to be one beauty stand, right? It was like a Victoria's Secret model, a high fashion model. Skinny girl, not really earning ass. And then it changed. We, now we got Kim Kardashian's body, the BBL effect being another body type to aspire to have now and you know in a way it's good having two new ideals my friend said that she leads to the other body type while you know I lead to the more skinny side she said that it actually made her feel better because she felt like she could finally have something that she could potentially attain but at the same time I don't think there's any such thing as a ideal body type you need to have a body type that looks good for you for example for me i'm tall and i'm thin if i were to go and get a bbl and try to look like kim kardashian babe i'm not gonna look good so it just wouldn't make sense for me to do that just because that is the standard of beauty or one of the standards of beauty having a fat ass would that look good on me no you really need to think about like what is going to look the best for you. Just because it is a standard, just because other people are doing it, it doesn't mean it won't it will look good on you and it will make you look better. I've also talked about this before, but you should never really aspire to have someone else's features or compare yourself to them because beauty is so individualistic and also subjective. Now, I know we can agree that some people, they're like objectively beautiful and perhaps we aspire to have that objective beauty. I can relate, but 
I think like something everyone needs to get through their heads is that not everyone is going to find you attractive or beautiful, but it doesn't matter. And you should be focusing on being like a good person, focusing on inner beauty. And I know you guys don't want to hear that because every time I say that, they're like, Simone, give us actual tips on how to look hot. Babe, if you want to look hot, then literally be the hottest version of yourself by number one, you don't have to change yourself, but just work out, be intelligent, be fit, dress well, take care of yourself. Two, focus on being a good person. Be charismatic, be eloquent, be intelligent. There was like this t TikToker I used to follow and I thought she was gorgeous. And look, she turned out to be a bit of a weirdo and I can't. And I was looking at her page yesterday and I'm like, girl, I don't even think you're pretty anymore. And then you find someone else, they are so common looking, but they are just beautiful on the inside, great personality, lovely human, and they are stunning. It is something that's hard to fully digest in a world where your appearance is literally everything. And thank you TikTok for pushing the beauty standard through the roof because I've always thought this, but we were never meant to see this many attractive people. It's not normal. I remember when I was younger, the most attractive person I had ever seen in my life was like a celebrity that you could look at now and you would think they look incredibly normal. I don't think there's anything we can do about it unless, you know, collectively everyone said, hey, we're gonna stop putting filters on our face, getting filler, blah, blah, blah. Like it's not gonna happen. Instead of being angry at social media, our society, whatever, by the way, we are society, so blame yourself as well. Instead of like criticizing things you can't change, you should work on like becoming mentally stronger and focusing on being the best version of you because truly when you are focused on yourself leveling up yourself being the best version of you you don't really care about other people and I think people also wanting to change their life it's like a bit of an escapism thing that's why everyone wants to bloody go to Hogwarts people on the internet now they're so nostalgic for like the past you know we edit our photos to look like a vintage camera. Anything in the past is resurfacing. And I don't think it's just for an aesthetic. I think it's more so because people, they just don't like this reality. They don't like 2020 something. <laughs> and fair enough, because I think we have been born into one of the most difficult times. Like we're in a pandemic, social media is fucked up. Our governments are fucked up. Everything is fucked up. We got a lot to go through that our parents didn't have to go through. So I kind of get it, but instead of hating the world, instead of hating the world, hating other people, blaming everything, you need to focus on what you can control. I've really digressed a bit from just talking about the beauty standard, hey? But yeah, I guess changing your life, it doesn't mean you're going to be happier because trust me, I change my life every three months. I constantly need to level up. I constantly need to be going higher, higher, higher. And every time I do, you feel good for like, let's say, reach a goal. Okay, I'm happy for two weeks. Oh no, what do I do now? Level up again. And you know, when you reach this new high, it actually feels exactly the same as the other high. So even though you're objectively in a better position, it doesn't feel like that. So, so what I've learned is that you just need to learn to be happy with the journey and being present. And that is something that I try to work on every day. And I'm, I'm probably the worst person at it because I'm very much like, let's go, let's level up, trillionaire energy, let's fucking go. And it's not even just for your life. When I have this hair, I want my dark hair. When I have my dark hair, I want this hair because you're never happy. And here's a little way I think about things now. So if you know that in life you're going to have everything you want one day, would you currently be upset? Would you currently be longing for it? Or would you enjoy this present moment knowing that you're never going to have it back? You would enjoy it. Because I was thinking, okay, if I were to like go back in time to maybe six months ago when I was in Sydney, knowing that in a couple of months, I would be going to Europe, which you guys know has been my dream for so long. I'm fucking obsessed with Europe. If I knew that was going to happen, would I spend every day waiting for Europe and dreaming about Europe? Or would I just be like, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm going to enjoy my time in Sydney now. I would enjoy it. And guess what? When I was in Sydney, I lived there for four years. Didn't like it. Then when I went to Melbourne, I wanted to be in Sydney. 
When I was in Melbourne and Sydney, I wanted to be in my hometown Perth. Now I'm back in my hometown, where do I want to be? Sydney, Melbourne. You're never happy. You're never happy. Maybe it's a me thing. I don't think it's just a me thing though. I think a lot of people can relate. I feel like I digressed a little bit just from talking about beauty. Anyways, don't think changing yourself is gonna make you more attractive. It might not. And especially, I can't highly stress this enough, but don't change just for the beauty standard because you can give someone big lips and they don't, they might not even look good. Perhaps they look better with smaller lips. I've actually noticed a lot of people have been dissolving their lip filler lately, like Madison Beer. Her lips were smaller and I thought she looked incredible. So even more so, it shows you how the times are changing. Times are always bloody changing. There's a new trend every month. I personally don't follow trends. I never really like trends. Call me an Aquarius, if you will, because I can't ever do what other people are doing. But yeah, don't follow trends, fashion trends, whatever. Just because you're trendy, it doesn't mean you're fashionable. You might look like a clown. So the Motel Rocks parachute pants are the ugliest fucking things I've seen in my life. A brand sent them to me. And when I put them on, I looked like I was about to be blown away by the wind. I'm digressing again, but it just goes to show sometimes trends are bad. Sometimes the beauty standard for you may not look good and most of the time you just got to do what looks good on you what feels good for you and you just got to focus on being content i hope you enjoyed that little rant by me don't forget to like comment subscribe and follow me on instagram and buy my on route collection have a great day tschüss Roman, Roman, vacación. Ah, puta. Ah, puta. Ah, puta. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago 